there Potter Puffs. Welcome back and I hope you're having an amazing weekend. So today I just wanted to chat a bit about the new house edition book that's coming out and also my house edition that I got last year. So I planned on doing this video before the new books were announced but a couple of weeks ago Bloomsbury said that the Chamber of Secrets house edition would be coming out in June this year. I didn't know that they would be doing every single one of the books in this new edition. Now I think for some people this has been kind of a mixed blessing because a lot of you went absolutely hardcore last year and bought every single edition of the Philosopher's Stone in all the house colours. So that's hardback and softback. So you've got eight copies of the Philosopher's Stone. Plus you've probably got the illustrated edition, the original, and potentially the other editions that have come out. So it is a bit crazy and we don't have houses like Hermione's bag. So I can appreciate why some people are possibly a little bit scared by the news that now there's going to be eight Chamber of Secrets coming out. So for me, I'm kind of very, very glad that I only ended up buying the one copy, which was the hardback, obviously Hufflepuff edition last year. If I'd have bought all of them, I'd been in trouble now. But first of all, let's just take a look at these together. So here they are. They look very, very different. This has got a very distinct 90s feel to it now. As time goes on, this book looks kind of older and older, which is cool because it goes down in history, obviously, as a classic. They read it in schools now, which is amazing. Wish I'd learnt it in school. There isn't particularly a lot to compare with these two editions because this one is literally just the book. Um, it's just the cover design that's different. You could get two different wizards on the back with this first edition. So you could have just a guy that looked a bit like Nicholas Flamel or Albus Dumbledore. Mine's not one of the first editions, so that's why it's got the Albus Dumbledore on the back. And inside, it's got an advertisement for Quidditch Through the Ages and also Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the originals, which is quite cool. At the front, just your standard house crest. And at the time, the last three books hadn't come out, so it only goes up to the Goblet of Fire. So I've never been someone who wanted to collect loads of different copies of the same book, but as soon as I heard the news that they were bringing out a Hufflepuff edition, I obviously really, really wanted to get it. Anything Hufflepuff, you know that I need it. How could I be the Queen of Hufflepuff without having everything Hufflepuff that I can? Whoa, that was a lot of saying the word Hufflepuff there. So, this edition I think is so beautiful because it's got the lovely house emblem for a start. It's got three of our most important traits, so dedication, loyalty and patience. I believe I just had to check one of my own house traits. On the back we've got our house ghost which is unique to which house you're in. We've got the fat fryer and I love the fact it's got the 20 years of Harry Potter sticker on it. That's something that I don't know when they're stopping that sticker but all of the books I bought in the last year have had it and in years to come I think that will be something that is very collectible. Hopefully in future they will do the 50 years 25 years, 30 years, 40, 45, there will probably be loads of books with these stickers on. Now when I picked up the book from WH Smith, they did have these bookmarks slotted in. So here's a look at the other house editions. So they're all really beautiful. I would have them all if I had enough space and money. Then on the other side, it's got the house crests. Now I got this bookmark from Forbidden Planet for £10. It's Noble Collection, one of the only Noble Collection items I have. And it's stunning. It's one of those things though that you're like, I can't possibly use this bookmark. It's too nice, too precious, I can't use it. So it will forever be a bookmark that stays in the box. But look at it, just look at it. It's got the metal part at the top and then it's plastic at the bottom. It's got the Hufflepuff emblem. That and at the very bottom it's got like the Quidditch colours and it matches so well. Look at the matching going on here. Let's actually delve into the book and see what's in there. So for anyone who hasn't got it, they get a taster of why they should buy this edition as well as having their old original. So as soon as you open the book, you're hit by a lot of yellow. It's got a quote from the sorting hat. It says, wear your house colours with pride. Next page, instead of the Hogwarts crest, it's got a Hufflepuff crest. You've then got the contents, which tells you about all of the extras in this edition, and it's got the chapters of the story. I was so excited for the extra information when I found out about these books. I was buying it first just for the cover, and then I found out there was going to be extras in it, and I definitely had to buy it even more. So you get an introduction to the house you chose. So that's an introduction to Hufflepuff. It's got a picture of... Wait, I need to check. I didn't look. It's got a picture of Helga Hufflepuff there. And that's a new image drawn by a new illustrator and it is stunning. 
after that, you've got more information about making Hufflepuffs proud, house founder, house relic, house liver, is it livery? Livery? One of those. And house ghost. So that's like kind of fact files, and I'm a massive lover of fact files. Let me just show you this page as well. Now this should have been in the first edition of Philosopher's Stone, the map. I love delving into the magical world and if I've got a map it is even better. Two page map which I believe also features in the normal edition of Harry Potter now which is very cool and I definitely think that's a good move. I could look at that for hours, I love seeing all the positioning of all of the different places and it's kind of cool because I didn't actually know like where the Quidditch Stadium was in relation to Hogsmeade Path and the station. Like as you read the books you kind of picture all the separate places but you don't necessarily picture how they all join together in the world so that's why having this map is a very cool thing and I'm really happy that this is in the house edition. Now in the books our common room isn't really featured it's like the only one where Harry doesn't go but obviously I know exactly what it's like because I go there every single day but I like seeing this artist interpretation of the front of the common room so the entrance in some barrels so here it is here it's a really, really nice drawing, and I knew I was meant to be a Hufflepuff just from the fact that our common room's right by the kitchens. After that, we've got information about our common room and memorable Hufflepuff student. Now, you'll never guess who this is. So, it says, The Hufflepuff Queen, aka Blossom, nicknamed Bloss, appearance, green eyes, brown hair, always wears a Hufflepuff t-shirt, and her followers are called Potterpuffs. Now, I'm joking. So, it's Cedric Diggory, Obviously it'd be Cedric or Newt, who are both very good Hufflepuff students. But then you've got the head of house, so Professor Sprout, right there. And then after that we've got two other famous Hufflepuffs from the Illumini. Oh, I'm glad I said that right this time. So we've got Nymphadora Tonks and Newton Artemis Fido Scamander. So more information right there. And we're pretty much at the end now got information on the house cup and some information on JK. So I'm going to choose a question from this Hogwarts quiz, which is another thing you get in this book. And you can tell me in the comments down below the correct answer. So here's the question guys, which common room other than Gryffindor's has Harry Potter been invited into? Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin or none? He has never been invited into another house common room. Glad you've enjoyed seeing the Hufflepuff edition book. Hope it gives you some kind of an idea of if you want to buy this if you haven't already or if you have it gets you a bit more excited about the Chamber of Secrets coming out in June which I'm sure I'll be showing on my channel then as well. So as I keep saying we have got geek gear Monday or Tuesday whenever it comes I will be unboxing it live for you guys to see on my channel and I'll upload it as soon as I can after that. I've also been asking you on Instagram if you want to send anything over to me for my Hufflepuff Queen birthday video. So that can be a letter, a make card, anything you like. I'll give you my address, just direct message me and it will then be featured in my Hufflepuff Queen birthday video where I'll unbox it all on camera for you which will be very very exciting. I know quite a few of you have shown me your package ready to send so I cannot wait and I appreciate it so so much so let me know if you'd like to do that. Have a great week guys, stay magical Potter Puffs, bye!